Let's start with actor table again. Let's write another SQL statement against our actor table to see what all data is in there. Select star from actor, execute it. We get the list of actor IDs, first name, last name, and last update. There are 200 records in the table. If we want to know how many unique last names or unique first names are there in the table, then we'll have to either manually count or use some kind of SQL query. So what I'm going to show you is how to get a unique list of say last names. If you were to look at unique last names, you will use a SQL statement called distinct. The query looks like this, select distinct last name from actor. So rather than just saying select last name, we are saying select distinct last name from actor. Go ahead and execute it. And here is a list of distinct last names. Similarly, you can do select distinct first name from actor to see all the distinct first names. You can use multiple columns in distinct. In that scenario, it's going to take both the columns and find a distinct combination. So if I do a query like this, select distinct first name, last name from actor, it's going to use a combination of first name and last name to find the distinct value. Go ahead and execute it. This is the list of distinct first name, last name combinations. Just like other SQL queries, other select statements, you can do where clauses on it, as well as order by clause that we saw. A query like this will give you the result set that's sorted by last name.